We're still a way away from the next election, but the mayoral race for the city of Elmira is heating up with more candidates throwing their hat in the ring. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dabina joins us live in the studio with more. Nick. Jackie, Grace Merrill is a libertarian who also goes by the name Grace Galactica. She is currently gathering the 250 signatures she needs to appear on the November ballot. Merrill says she believes it's time for Elmira to move past the two-party system and give voters a new choice. There's not any new jobs. There's not any new houses being built. People are leaving. You know, there's... I want people not only to come here, but thrive here. Grace Merrill says she has been working with the Libertarian Party for five years. She says she moved to Elmira a few months ago and is ready to lead the city in a new direction. My passion is definitely the Libertarian Party and what it represents. It's not just a political party. It definitely is a culture. It's a way of being. It's a way of living your life. It's, it involves self-governance. It involves um, letting people live how they want to live, you know, not policing your neighbors because they smoke weed or they voted for somebody different than you. It's, it's about everybody. It's the party of the individual. We have pollution in the streets. We have East Side feels completely forgotten about completely. I've heard people even say that there are sexual predators that are being placed near the school districts and then they're telling their council members and the government officials and nothing is being done. I'm going to come to all those meetings and I'm going to actually listen to you because I, I care and I'm not a politician. I'm just another individual um, fighting for the people, representing the people, not lining my pockets. Even though Merrill is a libertarian, technically she is running as an independent. The way it works at the state level to get your name on the ballot is in a can race for governor or in the presidential election, if they run a candidate, they have to get a minimum of 2% or 130,000 votes when the election occurs in order for their party to stay on the ballot. And the libertarians did not make that and therefore there is no libertarian line on the ballot. She's creating her own independent line for this mayoral race and she's using libertarian as the title of her party. Maybe it's time for something different. The party that represents the individual, every individual's opinion, life, culture, decisions, politics matter. We spoke with Merrill at length about a variety of issues facing Elmira, including crime, education, and homelessness. Merrill says she herself was homeless at one point in her life and was able to put her life back on track. We posted the full, unedited interview on MyTwinTears.com. Jackie.